Okay, guys. So, as I promised, I'm doing two juice reviews tonight. Well, just morning. It's like 6 a.m. now. So, my next juice review is on Moshi. It's actually a Canadian e juice. I believe, and I may pronounce this wrong, but I'm going to say Toronto. Um, up in Canada. It's actually just north of uh, Michigan. And this one, uh, I'm going to say Leslieville. Um, their website profile on this is a kitchen sink fruit juice flavor. If you're undecided but love fruit. Um, let's see. Let me go ahead and click more details. See what we get here. That really doesn't get much into it. Um, yeah, that really doesn't say what's in there. Um, yeah, there's really no profile on this juice. Um, I can tell you what I compare it to. Go ahead and juice up my damn cotton I would be doing this on my god mod with all its amazing safety features it's built into it um, but those batteries are charging right now so I'm going to go back to my trusty little sting right here alright and by the way I got these in 6 Nick and <laughs> with this, this flavor it seems like that 6 Nick's a little higher so if I cough, it's not because I'm new. I've been vaping for roughly 10 months. I've like got 10, 11 months. Hmm. Give you guys a couple O's there. Um, in my opinion, how would I? Because you can't pick out the flavors on this. The only thing I could compare this to, and I don't even know if Canada. I mean, can't. Damn, I can't even say it. I don't even know if Canada has this, but fruit stripe bubble gum. That's what. That's but the only thing I could compare this to. It's it's fucking good as shit. Like I said, I did their the junction, which is their custard. Yeah, it was really good. Mm. So good, so good. I've been vaping this flavor for a while. I've had it, I've had these three bottles. Well, three of the five I gave two away to my brother. Um, but I've had them roughly about a month, I think. Um, and as much as I've vaped this, I can't even pick out a single flavor in this juice. So they've mixed it well. It's a it's a glass bottle. Um, it's actually frosted black with gold lettering on everything. Uh, one of them in English, and I'm gonna guess the other parts in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, basically, you know, it's like the warning label and everything. On one side's English, but if you flip it the other way and you rotate it, I believe it's French. I know they speak English and I know they speak French, different parts of Canada. Um, I think, you know, the further east is French, I believe, and the western part of it is English. I could be wrong. I don't know. But, um, yeah, it's like a fruit stripe flavor to me. It's really good. I would recommend, yes, to 
others. Um, different builds. Um, I think different devices, honestly. Um, the flavors kind of change. Um, I know my God mod, I, I pick up a really strong, like, fruit stripe bubblegum. This one here is more mellow. Um, my build on here is like a, I think, point three or something like that. I don't know. But, um, it's actually really good, guys. I highly do recommend it. Um, the three, three flavors I got, the custard, this fruit, and I don't remember what the other one is. I do, the name of it is, oh, that's the junction. Um, St. Lawrence. I don't know what the profile is on that one. I didn't look it up before I did this video. Because I wasn't going to actually review that one just yet. I'll do that again some other day. Um, but yes, it's a, like a fruit stripe flavor to me. Fruit stripe bubblegum. Really good. Lots of fruits in there apparently because I can't pick out a single damn flavor. Um, I know taste is subjective so I might like it. You might not. But I will still recommend you guys to you know purchase some. Mm. Check them out, y'all. Moshi.